Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. And guys, VeChain cannot be stopped right now. Please leave a subscribe, leave a like, leave two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight comments down below. I got my hot tea and honey, lot and loaded, ready to go, guys. Let's get this show started. We are going to be looking at the price of VeChain right now, guys. We are up. We are up like we are up. <laughs> 10.1% on the day, guys. Absolutely crazy. We are just blowing through uh, all sorts of resistance levels, guys. I told you. What did I done tell you? What did I say when I done told you last week ago? Once we pass 10 cents, guys, the sky is literally the limit. Now, yes, we it, nothing goes straight up. But there literally, literally now is no resistance for VeChain, guys. We continue to break all-time highs. Every couple of weeks, we're breaking a new all-time high. Things are definitely going well. We could, we should enjoy this. We should revel in it, but we should still remain even keeled. For all you newbies that are just coming in, welcome. The party is just starting, but just remember, guys, nothing goes straight up forever. Even though uh, <clears throat> our resistances have been broken, we still can correct. Um, you know, there is a possibility that we could correct all the way down to five cents, four cents, three cents, two cents, heck, maybe even one cent. Unlikely, but it still can occur. Um, but for now, guys, all the hodlers, all the people that have been holding VJ for a very, very long time, you deserve this. And for the newbies that just came on, come on in, learn all you can. VChain has the greatest community v chain family known to man and you are welcome here with us all we do here is hodl baby it ain't nothing special it ain't nothing flashy we just come to work every day and put our big boy pants on and bring our lunch pail hodl read the news and that's it man i mean if you're looking for super uh special i don't know flashy price predictions and you know how to flip this altcoin, how to flip that altcoin for massive gains. That's not what we do on this channel, okay? We just stick to the facts. We stick to coins that have real world use case. And uh, we try to follow them throughout their journey and see where they, where they develop. So this is a good day for all of us. Let's enjoy it. Currently up to 13 cents now, guys. <clears throat> almost a 15 almost a 20 a 20 cent v chain could you imagine that guys just a year ago 20 cent v chain now it's a possibility absolutely crazy uh hodlers are happy and yeah i'm happy <laughs> so let's move on guys quickly <clears throat> taking a quick look at the veto burn here let's give this a refresh really quickly we burned about 3.3 million yesterday, and we're burning about 3.9 a day. Nothing really too crazy going on. At least the main net isn't looking as bad as it was a couple weeks ago. So that's good. Now, let's get on to the news that you all have been waiting for. <clears throat> Salesforce Director of Strategy and Architecture successfully tested enterprise adoption ideas on VeChain Thor. Guys, this is insane. If you don't know what Salesforce is, they are a customer management sumer, uh, a customer management solution. Uh, pretty awesome here, guys. They allow you to track all your customers and um, allow you to assign tasks to them. Um, it's kind of like I don't know if you guys work in IT. It's kind of like Zoho in in a certain way, where you can like get ticketing systems. You could get all kinds of good stuff. So. The director of strategy and architecture tested enterprise adoption ideas on VeChain Thor. Uh, Salesforce is a multi-billion dollar company, guys. This is crazy. VeChain's vision remains steadfast. Deliver the mass adoption of public blockchain and solve key business challenges that are otherwise unworkable without this emerging critical technology. One of the biggest problems in the contemporary business world is that of data sharing between stakeholders. Trust remains the biggest hurdles for multi-stakeholder collaboration. Certainly, it is, imp it, it is impossible for a business to verify the quantity and data of a third party without extensive time, cost, requirements, and often the use of assurance providers such as DNV. To overcome obstacles like these, VeChain continues to invite and work closely 
with like-minded big thinkers and revolutionaries in the business world. Our partners, advisors, and solution architects continue to test out, trial, build novel applications using our open source toolkits and our public blockchain to address, to address burning challenges. We introduce VeChain Toolchain, our blockchain as a service platform to streamline and simplify adoption and implementation of blockchain into business with minimal effort. In turn, creating value for VeChain Thor ecosystem. Today, we're excited to be writing about the work of a talented and highly influential individual who's been tackling some of the challenges mentioned above. Daniel Norte, Director of Strategy and Architecture at Salesforce, has been built an open source Salesforce tool chain adapter. It's sick, guys. This is absolutely crazy. Salesforce, multi-billion dollar company, coming over to try VeChain? Huh? I thought it was an escort. I thought it I thought it <clears throat> had no real world value. I thought that all the partnerships were fake. What happened to all that? What 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 happened? Oh, you're quiet now. Because you were wrong. Makes sense. Those same people that were saying all that BS back a year ago are probably now FOMOing in at the top. Toolchain adapter to enable open, seamless data sharing across multiple parties using data hashed on the VeChain public blockchain. Insane. Public blockchain enables Salesforce innovation. Recently in his public blog, Daniel shared his insights that blockchain would be increasingly touted as a critical technology during strategic sa sessions at Salesforce, recognizing the pivotal role blockchain technology will play in the CRM industry. With this in mind, Daniel embarked on his journey to explore how Salesforce CRM can be integrated with public blockchains to tackle key business challenges. After evaluating the market, he chose VeChain Thor as his platform of choice. Let's go. Daniel was drawn to VeChain's vision and proven track record of delivering digital information digital transformation in the enterprise world. He knows exactly who VeChain had hoped to engage with, an influential individual from a large enterprise focused on digital transformation with a curiosity and open-mindedness to give a novel technology a shot. Guys, this is what we need. This is why uh, adoption through Fortune 500 companies is so important, guys, because we need to get into the seats of these CEOs. We need to get to these seat, into the seats of the of these product developers so that we can tell them that hey there's a new solution there's a blockchain that you could use where you don't have to pay out the ass for gas fees i tried to run a smart contract yesterday i wanted to buy some shit coins like a degenerate like the degenerate i am and the gas fees were just too high i mean <clears throat> come on ethereum I'm trying to buy your shit coins but i can't afford it i mean a hundred dollars for you know a smart contract interaction is unacceptable of course ethereum will fix it eventually there's not going to be one blockchain to rule them all there's going to be plenty of blockchains around guys so don't get all tribalistic on me but for now the one solution that enterprises can use is to come on over to the v chain thor blockchain guys smart contracts are extremely cheap over here and that is what's going to drive mass adoption with Fortune 500 companies. So, in a recent blog post, Daniel said the key benefit of working with VeChain was the simplicity of integration. VeChain provides a blockchain as a service platform, which meant I did not have to provide any intermediary architecture myself. From what I've seen, this is unique to the VeChain public blockchain, and I thought it was a very good idea, especially for organizations who don't necessarily want to invest in more systems to maintain indeed the sample case involved a fictional electronic bike leasing ecosystem where a leasing company would lease e-bikes for food delivery providers the riders would have a commitment to perform uh, regular maintenance services on these bikes as a part of their contract through approved service centers Daniel focused on creating blockchain adapters for service providers and using the Salesforce platform to read, write product data into the VeChain Thor blockchain. And guys, I know I mentioned it here 
pretty often on the channel. But with the VeChain Thor um, software as a service solution, guys, one of the things that is not looked upon as important is the ease of access to create an entire blockchain ecosystem. Guys, you don't need to have any coding. You don't need to know how to code in order to create a smart contract on a VeChain Thor blockchain. That's going to be a game changer, guys, because when you get into these businesses, a lot of them don't have updated IT. IT is probably the last thing that, you know, the majority of these companies focus on, which is why it's so easy for them to get hacked and, you know, they're not making as money as much money as they need to. But the reason why is because developers are very expensive. You know, business and paying a business analyst, a business intelligence analyst, a um, product, I don't know, I, you know, they, they all got these fancy titles, titles that I'm not qualified for, definitely, but, you know, these business people, they will be able to create products and create code, low-code uh, systems for their companies with the VeChain th toolchain system, and the great thing about that is, is, guys, it will save on uh, employment costs so instead of having you know a head developer a business analyst and a business engineer you could all you could get rid of the business analyst and business engineer and just have the i mean that you can get rid of the developer and the business analyst and you could just keep the business engineer in there and they'll be able to do what the analyst and the developer was able to do because it's low code that no one's talking about that guys like no one is <laughs> no one's really uh, bringing that up when we talk about the benefits of eChain or uh, blockchain but that's neither here nor there that will be something that people talk about in the future um, I truly believe that once we get more adoption so <clears throat> how VeChain Thor creates value through businesses, guys. We're going to read through this. I know you're trying to get <laughs> me to move on. Through strategic design and innovative tools, VeChain Thor has solved many bottlenecks for blockchain technology and is currently the best low barrier platform for businesses and adoption of public blockchain. With Toolchain, we have eliminated the need for overly complex technical knowledge and equip users with unique native features such as fee delegation. We envision that VeChain Thor will fully take advantage of the core blockchain offerings through an easy to deploy manner. To this effect, we've developed our product to serve three levels of the user. <clears throat> no development needed group of customers, minimum customization, medium small businesses which do not have development capabilities who want to use some preset modules such as traceability, proof of origin, type of blockchain driven applications in this case businesses can be blockchain integrated in minimal lead time guys that's huge some development needed and then they have development needed now these large enterprises they can have their own codes uh they can have their own coders who, who can customize the blockchain to their to their desires but if you don't have that if you can't afford that then they have the low code group of uh set of business standards so this is awesome guys <laughs> you know <clears throat> this is a pretty long read i would highly recommend you read it salesforce salesforce is talking about v chain bro what a time to be alive what a time to be alive i see somebody on twitter talking about hey guys i picked up my first thousand vets I just looked at him, and I, I just looked at my phone, and I was just in disbelief. My mans was happy about a thousand VETs. Oh, boy. They grow up so fast. Moving on. Quickly, guys, we talked about this throughout the week. I have to go over it, obviously. VeChain's steering committee reaches consensus, reducing gas fees to one to the power of 13th way within seven days. So in seven days, guys, the base gas fee will be reduced. Um, I don't believe that it's going to affect VTHO price much. If there is a dip, <clears throat> if there is a severe dip in VTHO price, you best believe I think I'm going to just pick up some VTHO. I'm going to pick up a lot of VTHO and uh, just hold, hold on to it. Um... 
I miss the days when Vito was under a penny. You could pick up like a 100K Vito for like a thousand dollars. Those were the good old days, but those days are gone. Never to be seen again. <sighs> Such is life. Anyway, so uh, yes, within seven days, guys, they are going to reduce the base gas fees. And um, we'll see. We'll see. They said that, you know, they got people in, they got companies in the pipeline that's going to be burning. <clears throat> millions of veto a day so right now it's time for v chain to put up or shut up all right we voted y'all asked us we did what y'all said what what would be best for the ecosystem now we need some adoption we want to see that v, that main net fire on all cylinders we want to see 10,000 I mean 10 million 15 million veto burned we need to see it Okay, it's about time, and uh, I hope that uh, VeChain can deliver. I think they can, and uh, will it remains to be seen. All right, enough of that. Moving on. Perfect. We got Fatty Bomba here. Let's give uh, this person a hand clap of praise. Always putting out that heat. Another supplier joined the VeChain party, and it's a big one. IBP Trusted Excellence is a brand of Tyson delivering quality beef and pork to retail food service customers fully traceable in the walmart food traceability system let's go so we knew that tyson foods was a part of the v chain uh system but looks like their subsidiary um is now joining the fray guys each and every day just more and more adoption and you can f and these are the products here looks like some beefs some meats all be attracted to traced on the VeChain Thor blockchain. <clears throat> haters will say the partnerships are fake. But we don't listen to haters, do we? Actually, we do listen to haters. We do the opposite of what they tell us to do. With a robust portfolio of remarkable brands, Tyson Fresh Meats offer a wide range of beef and products. Beef and pork products. We've got Chairman's Reserve, Star Ranch Angus. Open Prairie Natural Meats, Reuben, and IBP. We are proud to carry the legacy of the IBP Trusted Excellence brand, providing quality beef and pork. Crack open any one of our iconic brown and green boxes, and you'll know what to expect. Exactly what you order, quality beef and pork, no matter what you cut. You can depend on the consistency of muscle size, right trim, and specifications and reliable yields every time. Trust comes in many forms. To us, it means you can depend on the IBP Trusted Excellence brand to deliver on our promise. Promise of quality beef and pork that consistently arrives in specification on time and is backed by service. Guys, the Great Reset is currently occurring. And if you're not on the boat, you're going to get left behind. The, wealth, the gap between the rich and poor at this current moment is expanding exponentially. More stimulus comes out. I hope you're ready, guys. I just hope you're ready. Get on the right side. Moving on. Ubiquity LLC posts. We have spoken with more investors, accredited individuals, and VC firms in the last week. Than ever before, with VeChain toolchain efforts, Renew Title, Smart Escrow 2.0 plans, and My NFTs Marketplace for the real estate and aviation titles, things are fire, and I would agree. Let's get it. All right, guys. Thank you to my wonderful Patreon subscriber. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Action packed. Great news coming out of the pipeline, guys. Um, you know, it ain't really not much to it, but to do it, we got AJ, Brett Garlickhouse, Mac Harris, Sergio Lassinos, and the Fern Light Jeffrey Ethan, American Home Remedies.com. Maryland for Crypto, Boost Wayne, Fruz Den, Brady Adams, Joel Menace, Kyle Bocci, Crypto SVT.SI, Eric Parr, I did the voice for the people, HBD South Bay.com, Daniel A, Crypto Kim Trails, Climax CH, Angela Schroyer, Craig Wadding, C Vale, <coughs> Maker Dow Crumbs, and Bearder. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you. We still have plenty of room over here for more names. So uh, come on over. Donate to the Patreon. We love you. 
Take a look at the Bitcoin block having guys. We have 1,121 days to the next one. And the markets are doing great right now, guys. There's a lot of green. Market cap's looking good. Total market cap is above 2K. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> Excuse me. I take a sip of tea there. So, total market cap is above 2K here. Um, uh, Bitcoin is up about 0.4%. Hopefully, they get past, you know, 60K. I think it will. It's been consolidating for a while, and it looks like alts have been pumping. So, what that means is that alts are probably going to pump for a couple days, and then alts are going to dump, and then they're going to put it all back into Bitcoin. That's pretty much how it's been working. Uh, so, that remains to be seen. VeChain is up 10%. On the news today, absolutely crazy. Hopefully, we get to 20 cents by the end of the month. That would be great. Um, but that remains to be seen. Poor Dogecoin owners. <laughs> People bought Dogecoin at 8 cents. I remember. But, hey. <laughs> it is what it is, right? Um, Waves is up 50% for some reason. That is a straight line up. Crazy. KuCoin token. Straight line up. OX, straight line up. Absolutely crazy, guys. So there are some alt movements going on <clears throat> currently occurring right now, but um, hopefully that can continue throughout the day. I'm going to stop blabbering now, guys. Don't let your memes be dreams. I will talk to you tomorrow, well, soon, for the Cardano updates, but I'll talk to you tomorrow for the VeChain updates. I love you guys. Have a good day.